heard? Can you be heard? I turned the volume down. Oh. Well, how are we going to know if we can hear ourselves? Okay. Hi, everybody. We're live. Uh, you didn't put anything Christmassy in one. Oh, that's okay. Well, I got enough for both of us. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've even, I've even got, I don't know if I can show my green stuff. Can I show my green stuff? Stand on the chair. Oh, stand on the chair. Lift your foot up. Lift my foot up. Oh, I thought you had your shoes on. Oh, no, I don't have those on. No. <laughs> I got my socks on. Be careful, baby. Okay, be careful, baby. Okay. Uh. Old people are not supposed to watch the people saying old people ain't supposed to do that. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, We are live tonight. This is our final broadcast for 2023. We're going on a hiatus. And during the hiatus, I'm going to try to catch up on several tasks. For example, I have about... I don't think we're live. Are we live? Yeah. We're live. We're live for a minute. Why? You can't see us? Where are you, Where are you at? You don't see us? Well, you don't look at us on there. Look at us on your page. Whoa. I don't know. Are we live? I think so. Let me see. You should have gotten, um, where's your page? You own it. Your page. Yours. Your, your Hampton Conway page. Where's that? Do you have a Hampton Conway page? Where do you look at your stuff on page? Okay. All right. I don't see us. Okay. I'm on Facebook right here. Okay. I don't see us. You don't see us? No. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go from the up. Go up. Up, up, up. Yeah, right there. See? We're live. We go. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, we're live. Okay. Just. Uh, how about I forgot to send out a notice that we was gonna be here on here tonight? Well, they'll see it when we post it. What's that? Where are you at? Okay. Well, we're live. Right there. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. I'm sorry for the technical glitch. All right. Um, but anyway, tonight we're going to be wrapping up. Uh, you must have a bug on yours or something like that because it keeps showing all this stuff on yours. You don't want that. Swipe up. You don't want to see more. Go back. See, you're right. I don't want to see that. Okay. I don't know what's going on with yours. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, we are live tonight, and uh, I hope that nobody took over our page. But anyway, okay. Uh, we're going to be talking about some some of the loose ends that we had uh, ran out of time or just forgot to mention while we were uh, making broadcasts uh, for the last uh, several months. And I was telling somebody the other day that uh, we've been doing this for uh, over a year. We started in uh, during the summer last year. Now, we've only been doing the Caregiver Spouse Series since the beginning of uh, this year. But, um, and, I, and I don't know how much longer we're going to do that. It's not like we're going to run out of anything because um, like much like having a kid. <laughs> not with this one. She's going to come up with something. <laughs> much like caregivers and caregiver spouse and care partners there is always something always. new to learn always yes. and um one of the things because i have friends also now i have not asked permission to share their names and you know uh, anything like that but i have but i but i'm just sharing bits and pieces of things that compile those together for example i have um uh one um friend who shared that um uh and what we tried to tell you too is to make sure that you don't get angry with your spouse you get angry at the condition you know be sad about not the, the condition person. not yes. the person yeah. um uh yes i wish and, and the hamp uh had two arms but he does not i'm not mad at him because he doesn't have two arms and um 
I, I uh, but in, and even when I'm, I'm at the point now, I'm not even mad that he doesn't have two arms. And I almost saw at the point that I'm not mad that I'm not upset that he has um, one we, arm. We're very grateful. Yes. Okay. It's, it's, believe it or not, it's allowed us to get closer together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, if anything, it's, it, we're grateful for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. She, uh, Sharon uh, feels, I think, the needed. Yes. Okay, she she likes yes. that yes. feeling of being needed. Yes. And mm -hmm. I need a girl. Okay. <laughs> I really I do. It. And I think most um women they love it that when their husband needs them. And um, you know, from the very beginning, Adam needed Eve. And even though she could thought she could go off and do what she did by herself and she got in all that trouble and got him in trouble too. But um I, I think, um, Beverly. hey, Beverly, yes. um, I think it's so Thank important that we have um, uh, a relationship in which not, not being needy, there's a difference between being needy, needy and needed. And needed. Yes. It's not the same thing. No. Um, needy is uh, when uh, every time you turn around, there they are all up underneath of you. You know, you got to be uh, have affirmation. And... Uh, <laughs> Blair said, "Y'all closer is that possible?" Yeah. <laughs> and 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 so and it really is. And yeah. we can see it. We can look at our relationship now versus our relationship. Let's say when we first got married. And I didn't think the day we got married. I if someone had asked me, "Could you love this man anymore?" I would have told them no. I thought I had just filled myself to overflowing with loving Hampton. And um, but I look back now. And realize, uh, <laughs> yes, it was love, but it was a lot of other stuff in it, too. a lot of passion and anticipation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You know, but anyway. Um, but, um, you know, it's 50, 50, it'll be our 60th year together in um, July. July. Yeah. yeah, 60. Not 60 years married. We've been, we've been married. It'll be our 55th anniversary. But we will have been together for 60 years. And, um, and we're going to celebrate that. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Just in case one or the both of us don't make it to to sixty years of marriage, I'm not even gonna talk about that. But anyhow, well, we're gonna celebrate that. Maybe we have a barbecue out on the side on the patio right here. You know, down yeah. here in South Carolina, just the two of us. Yeah. Okay. Well, we won't be here. We'll be home. Oh, sorry, we'll be home. We'll so be maybe home. we have it on the parking lot on, hey, on, the, on, on the driveway. On the driveway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To, um, in our um discussion, and what I did was. I have completely finished my little Ragney book, my little uh, a composition book. I have completely finished it. The first um, notes I took were uh, last year, uh, September. Oh, no, not, what's the eighth month? Is that July? That's August. Yeah. Yeah, August. Um, August the, um, August the 8th. August, oh no, that wasn't, that was Vermel. that was something I did, that was, because I started using this, um, oh yeah, August the 8th, is that August? I said September, September the 8th, 2022, that's our, my first time that I, now this wasn't the first um, journal I kept for it, but that's the first one I have in here, so I, I filled it up, it's 100 pages, and I guess in one a week, and it brought us to today, now, I brought, I got another one, in anticipation of us doing this even more so. I don't know what I did with it. Honey, did you take them out just No, now? there was a whole bunch of them oh, in yeah. the seat behind me. Anyway, I bought some more. They're in the seat behind me. No, they're not the behind. I moved them. That's okay. I bought some more on um, online, and I have uh, another brand new book I'm going to start. It's, it's not that thick. It's, it's that many books. It's, 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 it's three of them. Of them. It's yeah. three. Yeah, but I have one. Yeah, okay, it's three. Anyway, yeah, yeah. okay. Um. Thank you, Vet. Ming, good to see you all. Beverly, yes, good to see you. Yes. Um, in this uh, final uh, live. Lemuel Jones? Who's that? What? Lemuel. Who's Lemuel? I don't know. Ask him. He is. Oh, oh I, can't be, I can't be touching yes, stuff like that. Yes, no. I can't be touching stuff like that. No. Lemuel says, hey, okay. All right, you have to ask him who he is. Okay, it could be, it must be one of your relative Joneses. Okay. All right. Anyway, um, self-care is so important. And we don't really thought, you know, talked about self-care. It's not only self-care for me, it's self-care for Hampton as well. He has to take care of himself. 
Yes, I should see that he does. Um, and we should see that our care partner is doing self-care. But we have to do that also for us. And we have to make sure they're carrying through on their self-care. And um, for you, what does self-care mean for you? I got to do all, all I can to help take care of me so I can take care of you. And so you can take care of me. Okay. How about that? I got to do all I can to take care of me. So I can for take example, care of you what are some of the ways care. you take care of yourself? Oh, I can brush my own teeth. <laughs> I can put the other one on this arm. <laughs> okay. I can shave my head now that I have a electric he bought, shaver. He bought an electric razor, I a did, shaver. A free bird shaver. So have I can you shave used it yet? Yeah. It does good? Yeah, it does good. Yeah. I, okay. I shave my face with it. Okay. 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 So I tried that. Mm-hmm. I could shave like every other day, okay? Okay, all right. Use that thing. Um, anyway, so th- little things like that. Whatever I can do to make life easier for you. Drive as much as I can when we go from that's point not, A. That, that's you caring for me. B. I want to know what you do for yourself. Oh, for me? Yes, honey, for oh, you. Fix my breakfast sometimes. Make my own coffee sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, Those are tasks. What do you do? For self, I'll tell you what my self care is. Oh, I, I know what yours is. What's Going mine? There, it's smelling your perfume. That's not. <laughs> okay, all that stuff. You get back in there. You can go in the bathroom back there and spend two hours, <laughs> and come out with this red ring on your behind from sitting. <laughs> <on the floor>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> playing in your playing in your in your toiletries. Okay. <laughs> but for for me, self care hey, is Vanessa. I have I have spa days. Which I go in and... Um, Which is mostly Saturday mornings. Right. I'm in a Bible study. Yes. A men's Bible study on Saturday morning. Yes. It, it, so I, so I, I, I'm able that. to spend hour, at least an hour, hour and a half in in there. Um, and I wash my hair. I moisturize air plates. You know, and... Mm-hmm. and <laughs> air plates? Air Yes. Okay. In there. And I can um, put lotion on places that I normally don't have to. Because sometimes... Um, getting ready in the morning, I'm trying to get out there before hemp wakes up, and I may only have five minutes. So you, that's like when I was teaching, they gave you on uh, 30 minute lunches, which doesn't, you know, that's not bad, except that you have to decide whether you're going to walk all the way down to the cafeteria, walk all the way back, um, and try to go um, potty. So what I used to have to do, I would have to walk all the way to the cafeteria, bring my lunch, eat my lunch in the hallway as I'm going back to the bathroom. And then put the tray on the uh, the little set. yeah in the bathroom yes oh no or you didn't go you know but I got in real good um I I, I took ribs and um, cake to the uh, custodians and what um they they gave me a key to a bathroom I didn't even know it was this I know 99 percent of the staff didn't know it was there and I had my own private bathroom they cleaned it for me and everything all I had was a commode and a, and a sink and so I would put my lunch on the sink and while i'm you know i would be eating my lunch oh yeah well hey i ain't hey. taking my stuff to the bathroom no, no. <laughs> but that, it's either that or don't eat or it's either you know eat and don't you don't know right so oh. hey that's what i could have to do yeah so anyway but self-care for me is taking care of me relaxing what do i do to relax a lot of times i'm staying up late uh, most people who know us know we stay up really really late and the self-care would be Yes, stay up late, but you still need to get that seven to eight hours of um, sleep. And for me, once I wake up, if Hamp gets up to go to the bathroom uh, like six or seven o'clock in the morning, I can't go back to sleep. Once I'm awake, I'm awake. So I just, sometimes I just lay there, you know. I can't go back to sleep either. You really can't? You, that's a lie. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know you have no problem doing that. No, but two o'clock. Yeah, from, from, right. From so, the, what? It's two o'clock. What? Yep, so then I'm in the bathroom putting lotion on and, and, and perfumes on and mixing them up and, and layering you know, it up. I appreciate that. You so like that, Hampton? Oh, yes. Lord, oh, honey. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. You're supposed to say it like that. I do. Oh, okay. Do. That's how much it means to me. Oh, you. you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, thank you, yes. Thank you. All right, okay. Um, Ask for and accept help when it's offered. Mm-hmm. Uh, as caregivers and as care partners, we need to learn how to accept help when it's offered and to know when we need help you know don't look to the care partner all the time for help or the caregiver all the time for help you have to be able to accept outside help 
I, I took your advice mm -hmm. the last time I was in Publix grocery store. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I was standing there looking and was thinking, geez, I want these apples, but I can't put them in the bag and hold the bag at the same time. And I'm looking around and this lady walked up before I could even ask her, can I, can I help you? <laughs> yes, please. Can you put some apples in this bag for me? Ten. She said, which ones you want? I said, the reddest ones you can get up there. <laughs> that are up there i'll take those that was one at a time then i walk in the back and uh in the dairy area and this lady saw me trying to get up uh, stand up from the cart that i was uh, sitting on and she said um can i get that for you yes ma'am please get that for me okay get the little container of milk for me yeah. yeah. So you, I took your you, advice. You blessed them. They were blessed. She was so. She oh, anything else I can do? Yeah. No, I'm I'm good. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't a burden like I thought it would be interrupting somebody. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they, they didn't mind at all. Yeah, you. They were blessed. Yeah. Blessed to help you. They and they, and they felt good afterwards too. Yeah. Yes. That's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Um. Do your research for your care partner, whatever their malady is, whatever the disease or uh, disability, whatever it is, you need to study that malady, that disease, that uh, infirmity, whatever that illness, whatever it is, study it like you get ready to have a final exam. Mm -hmm. Cram. So that when that doctor knows, uh, doctor starts talking about something, it doesn't sound like a foreign language to you, that you may recognize it. So when he mentions um, uh, uh, stenosis or lumbar, whatever, you, you, you've you heard that word before. You know how to spell it because you've been reading about it. So you can write that down and take notes as you go. Now, this is where my, my sister and I disagree. I don't think she on here. Is she on here? No, no she ain't. Okay, I can talk about what her daughter is. Oops. Anyway, don't tell her that. So anyhow, um, she uh, went to the doctor the other day. And I told her, I said, um, don't forget to take notes. She knew she needed to take notes. So she, because I been stressed that you make sure you take notes. I said, and also make sure you record, you know, what's going on. She says, well, I'm not going to record because that's against the law. I said, oh, you know what? He ain't got to know you recording. And I'm old. <laughs> they ain't going to put me in jail for recording a, a session. All I got to say is, you know, I'm old and I couldn't remember what they were saying. And I need to record. Yeah, you should ask permission for the doctor. But I don't want the doctor to tell me no. Then we're going to have a problem. So I didn't want him to be upset. So I just go ahead and I turn my, my little cord on and I just lay it on the table. And uh, most of the time, I don't remember, I think one time that I replayed something for, um, I think it was for, um, uh, who was that I played that for? I can't remember what it's for. It was somebody I, I played it for. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Pat. Uh, Pat, Newman. Pat Newman. She came to the hospital. I was trying to explain something to her and I couldn't quite explain it. Or really what it was, he was talking real fast. Okay. And and I couldn't understand really what was going on. And so I played that section of it. And she came back and explained to me what he was talking about. And it made such a big difference. Yeah, you're supposed to ask him, can you record? But you know what? Hey, I haven't played by the rules in the last 77 years. Well, I'm going to start now. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Next. Um, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, go with your care partner to all their doctor appointments um, because um, most of the time, especially at the age where we are, and even if you're younger, you're probably going to remember, maybe you'll remember half of what the doctor says. If you're taking notes, you might remember a little bit more, okay, because you might miss half of it when you're writing it down. That's why I said take your little recording and go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, but um, you need to have someone sitting with you who can help remind you and that's not what the doctor the doctor didn't say so and so and so now if you got a care partner like mine i can say it that this is not what he said i can write it down this is what he said he will still dispute me so what i do pull out the recorder this is what the doc oh i don't remember that part i get why that's why i got on the recorder okay yes <laughs> uh talk candidly with your family um, because many are clueless about your health conditions uh, because we um, we retain what is the word we're doing? I don't know. Or whatever it is. Our, we, we keep our, our situation like um, it's bad 
a bad family secret. In other words, listen, we don't tell we don't tell our family we're about. We're at a point in our uh, in our lives where we gotta tell our family members what's going on with us. And people that don't, they're committing suicide. People that don't are having uh, a hard time trying to get assistance. Okay, trying to get help because they don't share any information mm-hmm, with anybody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. I, I don't, my family knowing about me or anybody else in the world knowing about me, no big deal. This is okay. in particular the family, even if you don't tell everybody else, because I know that everybody's not going to put their business on, on uh, Facebook. Who's going to do that? Everybody doesn't do that. No, yeah, no they don't do that. Put nothing on and, Facebook, so. Okay. Excuse me, what is it? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so, so okay. um, but some people, they're not comfortable with doing that, but you have children and you have close family members who you would depend on in a time of, of, of a health crisis, they need to know everything that's going on with you. We have a calendar. We put all of our doctor appointments on there and we yeah. share it with them. With we don't kids. expect our kids to go with us no. at this point, but if there's something yeah. very important, then uh, I'll, I'll put on it, can you go with us? They, help. they did not hesitate to, to accompany us when we need them. And um, so that if something were to happen, for example, have had a heart would you have had heart catheterization about two weeks, two, three weeks ago. And um, our children knew about this in advance and they would have come with us had I thought there was going to be a problem. I said, no, we're close enough to home. It's not like we went all the way to Baltimore or somewhere else. Yeah, I said, right in Beltsville. We were right in Beltsville. Yeah. They could have come to our, 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 our side if we, if we, if we need them. And, I, and our, our son, our daughter, I told them both, we don't need you right now. I said, if I call, they know if I call them, they come. They do not hesitate to come. And um, but I, 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 if I call that, but it, it's not all ne- always necessary. Um, uh, go um, talk candidly. Oh, I already did that part. Okay. Um, weekly or monthly health updates. Share them with your family. You know, help us out a little letter or email something like yeah. that to family and friends and tell them all his health business that he don't want to put on Facebook. <laughs> but um, it, it keeps them informed, especially if you have family that don't that aren't in the same state as you. Just to give them a little update on what's going to be real long. Oh, you know, I I know I went to the hospital two weeks ago, doing good, lost a little weight. Um, they still got to work on so and so, so they know. So that something doesn't come out of left field to hit them if and when you uh, become ill again. Um, your appointment schedule. If you have one that you have that you where you put your doctor appointments on it, share that with your family. Mm-hmm. Put it on there and then share your calendar with your family. Um, the um, research, home care, and assisted living and nursing home options. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to have home health care or assisted living or nursing home. And you're gonna say, no, no, no. And you, you just say, keep on living. Keep on living. You're gonna, gonna have to have happen. one of those. Yeah. Well, no, unless you just go like who was that Enoch that went up to heaven and 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 you know and then yeah. you know he he just got evaporated. Yeah, that's the church they have to talk about him one day. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, later. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, so research it now. Mm-hmm. A, a good place to go is care.com, and uh, in it's all of, it's, it's nationwide. And it gives you some options for um, nursing home things. And they will actually uh, set up appointments for you to go visit places. The time to go visit these places is now mm-hmm. when there's not an issue, when you're not stressed about, oh, Lord, Lord, how am I going to do this? How am I? Because many times you have no idea of the options and the help, financial help that could be available to you when you go to these places and they know all the ways to get your money and all the ways to help you get some more money. So we go visit them and it's, it doesn't cost you anything because actually they get paid by the places that they send you to. They get a little kickback. Oh, you send us this one and we're going to give you a little bit of this. And so it doesn't cost you anything. So it's care.com. And we found in our area two wonderful places, actually mm-hmm. three wonderful places in our, in our, uh, yeah, um, the one mommy's was in in Waldorf, the one oh, in okay. Greenbelt, the one in Laurel. Laurel. And, uh, and we went, we visited several um, because we were not um, pressed at that time. And mm-hmm. we got some pushback from uh, my mother, but uh, she, eventually she went, you know, but she ain't won't go. But uh, it, it, hey, at some point, you know, I realized I 
nor my sister at that point in time, uh, neither of us was giving um, our parents the best care because um, we, we just couldn't. You know, we, uh, we had obligations and Ramel had obligations and we weren't giving the best and care. We didn't realize it until they moved in with us and we saw what they were in, really in need of. Mm -hmm. And that's why we had to make yeah. the decisions yeah. that we did make. Because mm -hmm. they were in danger of falling. Um, my dad was a very picky eater. Over medicating. And, 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 oh yeah, they were taking each other's medication. Medicine. Oh yeah. Lord have mercy, yeah. yes. Okay, all right then. Um, Plan your day, meals, date nights, and um, because all in the effort to uh, foster intimacy. Yes. Yeah. We're going to do that. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, plan your date nights. Yes. Uh, plan your day, your meals in advance. I have been slacking on it, and I think there's something attached to that menu I have on on there. That's the week that you went to the hospital. I have not erased that thing yet. Did I erase it yet? Oh, I did erase it. Okay. I don't have to add it. Okay. Because the last um, menu I had up You here, like to plan the meals. I like to open the refrigerator and see what's in there. And let's go for that. And I know that's what you like. That's because you don't have to cook it. What I do sometimes. Be angry at the malady <laughs> and not at the care partner. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Um, health challenges will plague your relationship but it doesn't have to destroy it. Again, yeah. health challenges will plague your relationship, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to destroy it. Amen. Yes, you have. You, it's, it's gonna. It's gonna come. You live mm -hmm. long enough. Either you, your, or your, partner. or your partner, or both of you, mm -hmm. are gonna have to have. Um, you know, gonna have health challenges that could, you know, destroy your relationship. And the goal is to um, be together. Uh, as long as you can, but there may be a time that you may have to be separated. I don't even mm -hmm. want to think about that. Me I don't want to talk about that. Oh, God. Wow. I know how you go. You got to get in the bed with me, girl. Keep me warm. I got it. <laughs> 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 oh, Lordy. So, anyway, I, I, I can't think of anything else. I think that's enough right there. Um, I had, I had, I think I had a note on here or something, but I don't even know. Oh, and the last thing was, um, find a uh, a caregiver friend so important to have a caregiver friend and i say caregiver friend meaning that someone who is also a caregiver because you don't you can just call and and, and be on the phone and all and they can just hear you breathing and they'll and then they're gonna force you to start talking because they don't they understand they know they can tell in your voice, yeah, girl, I know. And you and you can just say one or two things, yeah, I understand. And you know they understand. They're just not saying it because they don't have a clue because you know, their husband is, is a bodybuilder and showing all his muscles on, on TikTok and stuff like that. But you got, you know, your your his husband, uh, his wife or his um or her husband may be in the same condition as yours. And um, so you need you need a caregiver friend. Who can, that you can talk to and confide in, and um, you don't want one with a big mouth that put all your stuff on Facebook that you don't want on Facebook. You need one that you can confide in. Also, my care partner needs a care partner friend, one who is possibly in the same condition, you know, who is going through the same things as he's going through. Now, it doesn't mean that um, him, you have about two or three of those, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he does. And um, and they look out for each other. Sometimes they'll come get a hamp and take him someplace out to dinner. I come home, I got a note on the thing, gone out with, with, with John and Jim, and they gone. I said, oh, okay. All right, well, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody think, just bring me some, bring me a doggy bag, you know. <laughs> but you, you need you need to have friends um, like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That does that mean that you don't need the other friends who are not in that situation, mm -hmm. but many times, what I, what I have found is that if you have friends who are not in that um, care partner, uh, spouse or caregiver um, season of their lives, and you tell them at the last minute you can't go, then they're trying to figure out, why can't you go? But if you have friends who have been in that, they may not be in it right now, but they have been in that situation, then they understand when you when they're the last minute, honey, I can't, I, you know, it just ain't working out that way. Okay, well, you want me to bring you something by? Yeah, we can bring me something by, but I, we just can't go right now. Mm -hmm. We we had an episode, or we had whatever, and uh, so we can't go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, 
I agree. Anyway, anything else you'd like to say, Kimasabi? Mm, no, ma'am. I, think we're, I just got to make sure that I take care of you. That's all I got to do is take care of you. Take care of me. So you can take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. But I got to. Okay. okay. Make it as easy for you as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. Do what I say. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Uh, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we thank you guys so much. It has been a wonderful year, despite all the challenges we had back yeah. in the summer. And yeah. just, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Thank God for Woo, Jesus, for Jesus, making Jesus. It yes. And bringing us through. I'm, yes. I'm really great. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. And so we'll, we'll um, God willing, we'll see you all in January. In January, the uh, whatever that first Thursday in January is. I don't even know what that is. Let me see. The fourth, I think. Is that the fourth? I think you're right. Because I which is um let me see january the yeah there it is right there see oh yeah january the fourth yes which is two days before my birthday and i'll be 77 years old i'll be walking into my 78th year mm. i'll be finishing up my 77th year I married a old yeah woman. you did marry a, a old woman i wow. yeah I, you know i can still keep you warm though can't anybody yes, mm, that's right yeah okay <laughs> so anyway when, when uh, we come back uh I, hopefully i would have been able to use the time because about, that's about three weeks i'll be using uh, use all that time to post videos that i have not posted on youtube we're gonna like i said last week i'm i'm starting a new uh youtube channel i don't even know why i'm doing it but anyway i'm doing a new youtube channel and uh called well, tell uh, me what the name of, of it oh is. this old lady smells good <laughs> yes and i do don't i smell good i smell good yes i do I smell that oh. <laughs> so anyway so um i hope i can um share that with you all and I'll make sure I put a link on our Facebook page so that you can um, kind of sneak on over to see me, you know, or so on YouTube. This old lady smells good. Yes. Yeah. Or you search by my name, Sharon Conway. Yeah. You going to do it with me? He no. Gonna, no, he ain't going to no. do it with me. No. no. He has one bottle of blue stuff that he spritz on himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's had for the past four or five years. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, guys, we thank you Love for coming you with all. that. You know what we did not do? We did not pray. We did That's not pray. Lord, pray please out. forgive us. Lord God, thank you for the platform once again that allowed us to be uh, here and that it's allowing us to share information with our family and our friends. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for, I'm giving you thanks for Sharon and Sharon is giving you thanks for me and we're just so grateful that we belong to each other. Through you, Christ Jesus, all of this has been possible. In your son's name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you guys. Thank you. Hey, look Thank at my you. new glasses. Yeah. Vooglam. Vooglam. V O O G L A M dot com. Mm, twenty dollars. <laughs> hey, get yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you right. get yourself. Yes. Okay. Bye bye guys. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night Vanessa. Yvette. Beverly. Okay, everybody. Look at that. Blair. 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 Beverly, Vet, Lemuel. Lemuel, who is this Lemuel Jones? Who are you, sweetie pie? I don't know Lemuel Jones. You I bet you do when you see him. Oh, he's friends with Linda uh, Johnson and Jim Hodge. Yes, from GWGRR. Yes, okay, gotcha. Okay, okay and um, who else on here? Uh, Vanessa. So Vanessa today I was on her live and I said well we've been doing this for 14 months and you hadn't even been seen us she said what <laughs> so she came to visit us tonight so anyway um I'll thank you all for being here with us and we'll see you on the fourth good night okay. everybody good night bye-bye mm,